All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, so, saw this announcement on the Tennis World Tour Facebook page yesterday. It got shared with me uh, again on on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so we like we we kind of already saw this because, well, well, plenty of people probably haven't because there was a video that that leaked in part of a interview with the technical director of Roland Garros, where like it was in French, but if you put closed captions on and translate it to that to English, you would see that he actually leaked this uh, probably, it was probably about a week ago now, and uh, it, it, it it put a bad taste in everyone's mouth, especially after that, that, that fr other French article leaked, although, albeit without any sources or real, you know, author and, and things like that, which I did a video on also. But which big Big Ben, or at least the Spanish version of their Twitter page, came out and and uh, you know responded to that article. Although I think it's, I think a lot of people believe it to be true because I mean you look at you look at the ga the state of the game. It, it it is definitely not finished. It is not even close to being finished. It is like me personally, I enjoy some of the gameplay in it. Some of the gameplay gets pretty tedious at times. Uh, I mean, they have fixed the racket and the ball not connecting most of the time. There is still some little issues with that, but like it's essentially the last patch that that's all it really did, gameplay wise. And and now we see this announcement, which you know, to be fair, we kind of already knew about. They just hadn't officially uh, said anything about it. So, in other words, are we going to have to pay? For this uh, this partnership, this like this special edition, are we going to have to buy the game again? Are we going to have to pay for DLC if we've if we've already got the game? I sincerely hope not, because evidently the, there is going to be a sequel to to this game potentially 20, 2020, 2021. So you would hope that if you know, you would hope if you own the game, this is just going to be a free update. Because this this is the big debate now. Like, are we going to have to pay for this? Like, are we going to have to pay for a whole new game? Which will essentially be the finished game, you would you would imagine. And, or is it going to be a paid DLC, or is it going to be free? Personally, I think it needs to be free for, for you know, everything that everyone's endured so far in owning the game because yeah some people aren't even able to get refunds now so they've they've either just got to simply stop playing it altogether or they've just got to persevere as updates uh gradually come out which we're not we're not really sure what the timeline is on each update evidently there's going to be another update uh next week which will finally include online i personally hope there's some actual gameplay tweaks in this patch because, like, fair enough, online play will be different to playing the AI. You'll, you'll see errors from someone you're playing online as opposed to where you're playing the AI and they're just not making unforced errors. As well as the fact where it feels like some of the shots you're making are not really going where they should, where you're aiming them, and it's a bit hit and miss, uh, pardon the pun as to where where your shots end up, if they just plain and simply just go straight out, or if they they just miss the line, or something like that, or if they go deep. It, it seems, like, it almost seems a little bit scripted at times, as to the way some points go, and it's a bit of a hollow feeling. So I feel like they really need to do a lot in the next few patches, gameplay-wise, in order to get a lot of people back on side like i know plenty of people enjoy the game for what it is but i know plenty of people including myself find a lot of little points in the gameplay very tedious at the moment and it it just it rubs you the wrong way so i feel like they really need to you know up the ante and you know get people back on side but the overall thing is with this with this announcement, they really, really 
need to make this free for anyone who has the game by that point. Sorry, I just hit my keyboard. Uh, but, yeah, because obviously pl- plenty of people manage to get a refund and plenty of people are just flat out avoiding buying the game altogether because they just, they're just very wary of being, you know, essentially ripped off. So, it's it's really disappointing. It, it is really disappointing. And I have seen someone say that they've seen footage of this apparent Roland Garros version already. Although, to be fair, I don't know if they, they, they're they just talking about the eSports version, like the eSports series, which is what they did in the lead-up to the game actually coming out, which a lot of us were sort of thinking, well, is, it, is Roland Garros going to be in the in the game or like so like obviously you know it's now clear that we won't see any official courts or anything like that until pretty much may next year which will be the rock roland garros you know grand slam tournament uh i'm not sure how many courts they're going to have i assume obviously you would have you know the main sort of two courts at the very least uh i'm not going to try and pronounce them because i will absolutely butcher it and i don't want to offend anyone but you would have to imagine the main two courts would at least be in there, and then maybe a couple of the, maybe a couple of the show and outside courts possibly. So we will see what happens. We've got a long time before we we see anything. So hopefully, hopefully they do right by us, and and it's free for for those who already have the game. Otherwise, I feel it's it's really unfair. Anyway, more updates to come as more news comes out. I wanted to give this article or, or post a little bit time, a little bit of time to settle in before I did a video on it to kind of gather my thoughts. And hopefully we see some improvements next week in regards to the, on- the apparent online update hopefully it has some gameplay tweaks in it as well. It would make the game so much more playable offline because, you know, if not everyone wants to play online. Plenty of people do, but plenty of people don't. So it, it, it there needs to be a like a happy medium or median. So we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, stay tuned for more.